Hello, this is a tutorial about classes in C++. I will be creating many videos about this subject, but first we will start from the very beginning, so very simple things first and then we will build up and it's getting more and more complicated. First let's create just an integer like H John and then let's set H John to 34 and uh, let's print that value here This is something we learned already before in a variable tutorials. So let's say John's age is this one. And it all works nicely. Nicely. If we run this, it will print John's age is 34. Very good start. Now let's let's now create a new type because class is essentially a type it's a new type it's a type which we define what it's gonna do let's create a new type which we want to be a smart integer this is what we want it to be to do this we will type here class smart int and then we will put, put these brackets and the semicolon here and here here is the content of this class let's first type public here public means that uh, under this uh, this public we have a public access area to this class meaning that uh, anybody calling from outside can get access to these members but we will we will uh, talk about this later on in detail in this case we will put here value like this just int value here now let's create one object here which is a smart integer object or variable let's call it h peter now this is very interesting because here we are creating an uh, variable h john this is the type of this variable here we are creating h peter and this is the type of this variable and it's the new new type which we just created so next question obviously that is that how do we set the h of the peter because it's it's a class object we will use this um, dot here to get access to its members so as, as you can see from the tooltip here it offers what we have so at the moment we have only value so H Peter's value set to 55 and now we can print also Peter's age and we will use exactly the same thing here like that and let's compile now and see if it works and it worked very nice so this is another way to do the same thing to set the age it looks a bit more complicated isn't it because we have to put this dot value here dot something here at the moment I will be discussing about the benefit of this thing soon at the moment we don't see any benefit isn't it because this is just more complicated isn't it why would we do this why don't we just use H John well now I'm gonna start adding some things so we will see what is the benefit or what might be the benefit uh, by doing these things just an example here so to continu continue this let's first create a new access term here let's call it private or let's call it I mean it is private this is a C++ language I'm not creating anything new here so private 
And now, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move this this variable from public area to private area. And what what will what will happen now? That's the question. If I put it here, what what will happen? Now this means that uh, nobody can get access to this variable directly. As we can see here, there's a red red line under beneath here meaning that it doesn't compile. There is a syntax error here. And the reason being that we are trying to get access to the private uh, private member. It even says in the tooltip error member uh, declared online is inaccessible. It's inaccessible because it's in a private area here. And nobody can get access directly to the private members uh, outside the class. This is inside the class. This is outside that class. So we can't get access to the private member. Now the question is that how 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 do we get access to that private member? The way to do is is that we will create an access member function here, a function which will return this value. So I will I will do this like this. I will say integer. This is the return value. This integer and I will create a new function called value and um, it will return this one. But now there is a conflict here because the function name is value and the variable name is value. This is this is going to be a syntax error. We can't use the same name as a function of what is the member variable. That's why me personally I put here m. This is old style because I'm a little bit older I come from 80s. So sorry, I come from 90s. Uh, I mean, my programming comes from 90s. So in 90s, they used m underscore to say that this is a member variable. In the latest uh, books, you can many times find that they do like this. Well, I personally, at the moment, I don't like this because it doesn't look look so nice. Just a personal personal preference, isn't it? This looks like uh, something is leaking from the from the behind, isn't it? It's like a like a rope following you, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just joking, but it's it's a matter of taste, I would say. I, I personally like m underscore to put if I have a, a member variable like this. So now they are different, and now we can return this member variable value here. So this is how we can return this the value of this of this integer so we will create a member member function this is called member function of this class it returns integer type and this is the value it will return it will return the current value of this member variable so next question is that okay th so this is how we can get the value meaning we can call it here so i can call here this one to get the value here so, so the object, and then we are calling it the object's of public member function. Get the value. Now, how about this set value? This doesn't definitely work because this this can't set the value. It can only get the value, the get the current value. So, how do we set the value? Well, we need to create another function which will set the value. Let's call it set value. And here, inside the brackets, we will s we will sa say that what is the new value? Let's call it integer new value. And um, here we will set this member value to this new value. So now here, we can do this do this call. We can say. And as you can see now, we have these two member, public member functions here, uh, which we can select from. So we select set value, and we put that 55 now here as a parameter. So it goes now, so the new value now becomes 55, because this 555 goes here, and then it goes here, and it will set here, inside it will set its its um, member variable value to this 55 here. 
Now, let's see if this also works. So I will compile and run. And, surprise surprise, it still works. So now we have nicely, we have hidden the variable here and we only get access to it by member functions. This is a get, get member function and this is the set member function. Okay, but we still can't see what is the benefit here. It, it's still exactly se doing the same as this one, isn't it? There's no, we are setting the value here and we are getting the values here. And this is just more complicated, isn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna do one, one, one uh, smart thing inside this integer, which, which shows, which, which shows that what kind of things we can do, which might be beneficial here, um, doing uh, like this. So let's say that we want to know that how many times we have set a value to Peter, how many times Peter has change its age. Like for example, let's say that we change Peter's value again here to 74 and then we s then we changed again 23. So now we have changed three times uh, Peter's age. So is there a way that the smart integer could know how many times we have changed? To do that, let's create a new member variable called modify count okay and let's initialize it it's the zero this is the way to initialize a variable put those curly brackets and put zero this means that when we create this object it will immediately set it to zero we don't need to set it to zero it will automatically set it to this value on this line so after this line this h peter h peter's modify counter has value 0 because of this because the counter starts from 0 always so now we need to add functionality here so always when we call this set value here we will increase this counter by 1 and in c and c++ it's done like this so plus plus variable means that it will increase its value by 1. So when we call this set value first time, it, this becomes 1. When we call this set value second time, this modify counter becomes 2. So after this line, it should, it should have a value 3. Let's see if this is true. And uh, let's put here, you changed, you changed um, Peter's eight and then we aha we need to get the we still don't have a get getter function for this modify modify count so we need to have a new function here called integer uh, let's call it modify count just modify count it it returns the current modify counter value so we just put here return modify count so it just returns its current value because this is a private member so we can't directly call this again so we need a function to get its value so now we can get its value and if we put here dot and as we can see now we have three three here we have also this new function called modify count let's select that you change Peter's eight and let's make it nice times okay and let's run it now and see what is the change <coughs> there we go John's AIDS oops John's AIDS John's AIDS is 34 Peter's age is 23. It's 23 because here the last value uh, we set was 23 on this line. And then we have you changed Peter's age three times. So now this counter increased three times. Starting from zero, it increased three times. So that's why it's three. 
if we take out this line obviously we know what's coming now now we change it two times that's true Peter's age is 74 here the last one and you changed Peter's age two times okay thank you for watching this this tutorial and I will put a link where you can download download the code at least the the more complicated code I haven't e yet um, uploaded this code but let's see if I, I will do it if not then later on when I do more complex code I will be adding them anyway at some point so you can download the code maybe this is a l quite simple code maybe this doesn't need to be um, uploaded to anywhere anyway uh, on the next video I will be uh, increasing the complexity of this class and we will see more interesting stuff coming. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.